Hello and welcome to a video from FilmsByChris.com. That's Chris with a K. I'm Chris with a K. Sorry that my last video had some slightly low audio. I hope it's better this time around. We're going to be looking at socks some more today. We're not just generating random tones. We're going to be generating tones that are notes. So, again, as always, there's links in the description of this video to uh, notes with all the, the commands I'm about to run. But we've been playing with socks. Socks, again, is a common application on many Linux systems and definitely in your repositories for every major Linux distro that allows you to manipulate sound and generate sounds and we're mainly focusing on generating sounds and today we're going to be generating as I said musical notes and so let's go ahead and just jump right in again check out the links in the description of this video for all the commands I'm about to run and uh, go ahead put your headphones on if you got them and I'm sorry if I bust your ear caps <laughs> your ear caps your ear drums, your caps, your. <laughs> anyway, we're using the play command. Uh, I hope you watched the previous video. We did install socks uh, on our distro. Uh, if you're using a Linux distribution, check your package manager, Debian based to sudo apt installed socks. That's S O X. And once you have that installed, three of the main commands come with it is socks, S O X, rec, R E C for recording, and the play for. You know, playing stuff, including generating sounds. Uh, last time we created sine waves by giving them a frequency, but here if we just say exactly what we said last time, but give it an A, it's going to play an A, right? So we have play, we're going to play a synth, we're going to play it for a half a second, it's going to be a sine wave, and it's going to be an A note. Which A note, if you don't tell it, I'm assuming it's just going to play center A, right? Middle of the keyboard. Okay, there's A, you can do B, and again, there's links in the description. I'm just going to copy and paste A, B, C, D, E, F, G, just like so. So it played all those notes. Now, you can also give it a number after it, and that will change the octave it's at. So when we ran, uh, it doesn't matter, B, we can do B2. Very low B, we can go B7, it'd be very high. Ooh, I am so sorry about that. <laughs> Again, I apologize for any uh, very loud frequencies here. I'm going to turn my volume down a little bit um, on my headphones. You might want to do the same if that was loud. Here, I'm just going to uh, play uh, six different commands. It's just going to be playing A in each octave, one through six. Okay, there we go. Now, again, we are playing it. Let's go ahead and make this a four. This is the number of seconds. We're doing a half a second here. We can do one second. We can do two seconds. Or however long you would like it to be. Now, so far we're using the SIN for a sine wave. Well, we can change that to PL. And I'm going to tell you what, I quickly looked at the man page. I don't know what PL stands for. It sounds more like a harpsichord to me. But let's go ahead and play this. Uh, this is A in the uh, fourth octave for two seconds. Okay, maybe some sort of guitar, harpsichord, I don't know. So again, any of those times we use sin uh, for short for sign, you can also type sign. And in the previous video we did, we did square waves. If you do PL, you get more of this guitar-y, stringy sound. So again, just like before, I'm gonna play uh, A from the second octave through the sixth octave with that PL. Now, let's say we wanted to play a chord. We wanted to play a bunch of notes together. Well, we can string those together. So, for example, here I can play for two seconds a G2 and a B2, and we're doing that as a sine wave. And, of course, we can string more of them together. We can go like this to where we're playing a G2, a B2, a D3, a G3, a D4, and a G4, all as sine waves here. And of course, instead of sine wave, you can give it that, that PL, so we get more of that plucky sound. Again, very harpsichordy sounding, if you ask me. Uh, now, we can uh, mix things together, because when we did that, you may or may not have noticed, but half the notes are playing in the left ear and half the notes are playing in the right ear. Just like in our previous command, we can say dash, or remix dash, and that will mix them all into both ears. And then we have this norm dash one command. Um, I just got errors when I didn't put that in there. So I put that in there based on tutorials. I, I, I should have looked up what that meant. But norm-1. We have a nice little chord. Uh, but let's say that we, I mean, that's like, you know, hitting all the notes on a keyboard uh, or piano or harpsichord. But a piano, you like, you kind of strum it. So there's a delay to each one. Just like we did in our previous videos, uh, we can play each of these synths. We're going to play them for two seconds. But then we can set a delay for each one. So we're going to give it a number zero, then 
0 0.05, then 0 0.1, and then 0.15. So that's going to be going from the first uh, one, which I have set to a sine wave here, so you can mix those. Uh, let's go, yeah, we'll leave that as a sine wave. So it's going to play this one without a delay, and then 0 0.05 seconds later, it's going to play this one, and then point, a tenth of a second later, uh, overall, it's going to play this, and then 0.15. So each one of these is going to be delayed a little bit, and we're going to get more of a strumming sound. You can definitely hear that sine wave in there. Let's go ahead and set that back to PL. And we have a nice little strum of a chord. Now, we can also have things uh, fade in and out. So if we basically take that same command, again, these commands are getting long just because there's lots of notes in it, but the, again, there's links in the description of this video uh, to everything. We'll run this command, same thing, but we're adding in this fade, 282, I'll explain that in a moment, but. So it came and it went out. And if you look at the notes that I have uh, on the page, here we're saying the fade, and then we're going to, we can pass it a type of fade, but we're gonna say fade length, and we're gonna say uh, the stop length. So basically, we're going to fade, two is a type of fade, we're gonna fade for eight seconds and fade out at two, or the length of the fade out. So we'll run that again. if we were to change those, let's go ahead and change that. So now instead of 282, we'll do 182. You can tell that was a, a different fade in there. And of course, we can shorten this all up. Instead of eight, let's go ahead and just say four. A little bit shorter of a fade. And we can also have it fade out a bit quicker. We'll say one. So there you can affect how quickly it fades in, fades out, how long it holds for in the middle there. And of course, just like in our previous video, if you wanted to save the output, you can use the SOX command. And so we're going to run that same command we just ran uh, using play, but instead we're going to say SOX, and then we're going to give it an output of output.wave, which again will override that file if it already exists without warning you. And then I have a second command here to play. Actually, we'll run that as a second command. So. There, we generate it. It only takes a moment to generate. Now we can say play and we can give it that output.wave. So again, if you wanted to generate some sounds for a video game, you can do it right here in the shell without having to go anywhere. Save it as a WAV file or other audio format, and then you're good to go for whatever project you need those sounds for. Again, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the K. There's a link in the description to my website. Be sure to look at there. There's a support section. Of course, you can become a Patreon supporter over at Patreon. You can also um, support me through PayPal, LibrePay, um, buy me a coffee. Just check out the support section on my website and... Uh, yeah, I thank you for any support. Like, share, subscribe, and comments. Comments are great. Leave some comments.